It's our story. Jennifer Keelan, Denver, Colorado. I remember when we were uh, trying to get the uh, the ADA passed, and um, back in uh, what was it, 1990, or was it 19? It was it 1989 or 1990? No, <laughs> and um, I decided that um, that I wanted to climb the 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 uh, the steps of the Washington Capitol, and um, everybody didn't want me to. It was supposed to be like an all adult thing, and they're like, "No, no, no, Jennifer, you're too young. You can't do it." And I turned to Wade Blank and I said, "I need to climb the steps. I want to climb the steps." And Wade said, "Go for it." So I, I um, uh, got out of my wheelchair and I started climbing. Well, the next thing I know, I've got 50 cameras on me and I've got mics all over me and every, and it's like the hottest day uh you know the month of march and i'm just i mean i'm just dripping with sweat and i'm saying to myself not only am i going to do this for myself but i'm going to do it for my friend um kenny who died a couple of months um uh earlier and i was going to do it you know for the future and i said okay so i'm going to you know i'm going to climb these steps and I get out of my wheelchair and I start climbing. And all these cameras are, are on me. I mean, like 50 cameras are on me. And I'm like, you know, I'm like eight, nine years old. And I'm going, water, 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 I need water. And 50 bottles of like water, you know, for, you know, um, um, uh, Wendy's cups and water bottles and, and I mean I had international news on me I had I had uh, national news on I had local I had everybody and I'm you know climbing these steps and it's a big climb I mean 80 you know 82 steps for a, for a, a 10 year old I mean that's huge and and you know I've got the little pamphlet in the back of my pocket that we're supposed to hand over to the to the um, politicians to get the ADA passed and and um, I can remember, you know, that once, once I, I climbed the, the, the steps, I, you know, I sat down and I'm like, wow, did I do, I just did all that. And um, um, they say that, uh, that it was the image of me climbing those steps that, uh, you know, was the final, final decision to get the ADA passed. And uh, I, you know, that is one of the most, you know, extreme memories that I have that I'm extremely proud of. And uh, I knew at that moment that I was not only representing um, myself, but I was representing uh, my generation. And if I didn't do it, if I didn't, you know, if I didn't do it, if somebody my age, you know, didn't do it, then, 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 you know, nobody, nobody from my generation would be represented. I mean, I just, I had to do it. I had to. And nobody was going to stop me. I mean, there, you know, everybody was, was trying to stop me except for Wade. Wade was like, go for it. And so, you know, I took off my belt and I just started climbing and, and then all of a sudden, you know, and, and, they're, and they're all like, they're all, they're all quiet. You know, n normally the uh, you know news reporters they're like asking me questions. Well, not this time. They're all quiet. And every time that I asked for water, I said water, and I had 50 bottles of water, you know, thrown at me and you know given to me, and, and I could just pick from either one, and then I just started. Drink and I mean, they were like literally on me, and uh, that was that was one of the great moments. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.